Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Good morning from beautiful Manchester, Vermont. I am about to run in the Maple Leaf Half Marathon. This used to be one of the most competitive half marathons in the world back in the day. The times have changed. And one of the things that have changed with them are the shirts that we wear. Many people are wearing a wicking or technical fabric, which is designed to keep the moisture away from your skin, to keep you cooler and drier during the race. That's a great thing, but there's one problem with these tech shirts. The material is very abrasive. So today we're going to talk about a very sensitive issue, nipple erosion, otherwise known as knee. What is nipple erosion? That kind of freaking me out. Yeah, it is freaky. It's scary. You don't want it to happen. This tech fabric eats away at your nipples during long runs or long races. It actually erodes the skin on your nipples because they're prominent, they're sticking out because you're all, you know, revved up out there. Have you ever been to a race where you see people cross the finish line and they've got streaks of blood coming down their shirt? Oh, it freaks me out. I've been in races where the last four miles I'm running with both hands pulling the fabric away from my nipples because they hurt so bad. And then you get home and you get in the shower and when the water hits you there it's like, it's worse than tooth pain. It's like the most intense pain that I can personally experience. So how do you stop this from happening? By wearing nipple protection. That's right. So I'm going to show you how to make some very inexpensive and very effective nipple protectors so you don't get nipple erosion in your races because trust me, you don't want it. And I'm going to show you some pictures of bloody nipples after the race because I guarantee you there's going to be some here. And they should have watched this video. What are they thinking not watching this video before the race? Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So to make your homemade nipple protectors, you're going to need a sharp pair of scissors and a roll of Dr. Scholl's moleskin. Now I use the Dr. Scholl's, which is a little bit more expensive because the adhesive uh, lasts much longer. I've tried the drugstore brand. Yeah, you're going to save a few pennies, but it's not going to last as long and it's going to come off while you're running and that is not pleasant. And I'll keep these scissors and the moleskin in the glove box of my car at all times so I always have it ready just in case. So I'm going to open it up a little bit and I'm going to cut a strip about three quarters of an inch wide all the way across. And then I'm going to cut three quarters of an inch down so I'm making squares that are about three quarters of an inch, maybe a little bit bigger, um, all the way through. And then I'm left with a piece that's a little too small. Okay, so I only need two for this particular round. I am going to round the corners. Now you want to make sure you round them so that you get as little area that can be pulled by your shirt. If I were to leave that corner, it would get rubbed by the shirt and eventually it would be a place where the, the protector would come off. And if I just cut straight across, I now have two little corners that can get pulled on by the shirt. So I make sure that I round it and that way there's nothing to get snagged on the shirt. Okay, there's one, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other guy. So there we are, I have two homemade nipple protectors, and they're gonna last me about two to three days. That includes running and sweating, and even showering. What you wanna do is put these guys on about two hours after you shower. So the adhesive really sets. If your body's still wet, it's not going to set well, or if you're a little bit moist. And after about two or three days, they'll just start coming off in the shower. Peel off the backing. Throw it away. Lift your shirt. And if you don't shave your chest, make sure you move the hairs out of the way. I'm not a big shaver. Put that guy's center over the nipple. And really work it on there to make sure that you get the adhesive sticking well. Really work it in good. So you don't want these guys falling off. You don't want any spots that are not on there good. And then pat it through your shirt as well. Okay? Just like that. And you are ready to rock and roll. Is that an old wound? No, that's today. It was that's clean. today? Yeah. And I don't want to run this way. My nipple skin getting rubbed away. I've still got five miles to go. And now my nipple blood, baby, it starts to flow. I don't think I can make it in. They hurt so bad, I feel like they're coming off.